Let's talk about being a Sag. It's so hard being a Sag, in my opinion, because I feel like we are the most liked and most hated signs out there. And I just want to touch on some things that I feel like we can do less of to be loved, which we don't really care, from other zodiac signs. Let's explore more on being a Sagittarian. I feel like our sign is so unique. There is no other like us because we are extremely creative. We are very passionate. We like to try things new. We don't like to be boxed in and we always want to explore as you know as they say you know we are quite humorous i feel like if you are having a bad day if you have a friend that's a sag that person is going to let you feel so uplifted they're going to give you such great advice i think to help you not to focus on negativity to help you to look at life at different angles and just to give you a different perspective in general we are very entertaining and we have really a great sense of humor Humor. and sometimes our humor is I don't know if others experience it but sometimes it's not being taken as a humor sometimes people will take that as oh you definitely mean to throw shade but trust me it's not shade it's just that I think it's the bluntness that comes along with her humor that sometimes we are a little bit misunderstood that's the word misunderstood so I will get from friends and I think that I feel like it's the ones that are really sensitive that they will say, I can tell when you are making a joke or when you are serious. And I feel like that's just not my problem, but I kind of get it because I will have a straight face whenever I'm making a joke and I will have that same face when I'm serious. So sometimes it's very hard to read, which I definitely get now. And that's something that I'm working on. So that could be something too that I can, or if others are just like me, can work on to let people feel a little bit more comfortable. But I'm sorry if I have the B rest in face a bit you know I don't mean anything sorry so one of the things that we can possibly work on is our bluntness um, it can be most often mistaken as being cruel or mean but it's just us by nature we are brutally honest if you ask me something and you want a genuine answer please be prepared to hear a genuine answer because I we're just not going to fake it we're just going to be very blunt and sometimes bluntness or true honesty can really cut deep so that's something that I may have to work on especially when it comes to delivery i feel like if you are blunt but you let the person know that i'm going to say something you may not agree but it's coming out of a sense or a space of love and i say this with the purest intention possible and then i would just say what i need to say not coming up a place of judgment or as if i know everything but this is just based on my observation and since that you ask I'm going to be honest with you. So that is something that I feel like we need to work on. Is sometimes, I mean, we, we could say, if you don't want to hear the truth, don't ask. But I feel like to be a little bit more mindful about our delivery because people are sensitive out here. But the good thing about us is that I can say, because I have received comments talking about our brutal honesty is that if, if you can dish it, you must be able to take it. And I can say that we tend to appreciate people that are brutally honest with us because we don't like fake i mean if there's something going on please be honest and that's something that we accept if we know it's coming out of a place of love because sometimes people will try to cut deep just to cut deep just to hurt you but if we know that this is someone that genuinely loves us and wants the best for us we'll be very receptive and appreciative of trying to work on ourselves because i had friends too that would tell me something and i'll be okay this might be something that i should look into when another friend might say something to me just because they know that they have flaws and they're trying to find something deep down just to make me feel insecure or that I'm not a good person which I know that not to be true so but if you know who you are you have a sense of your identity just be careful about who you allow to give their perception of you I would say but anyways that's a different conversation but we definitely dish it but we can definitely take it that's just me let me know if you agree what I love about us is that our determination and our dedication to do whatever our hearts desire. And as you know, there are tons of celebrities that are Sagittarius from Mali Cyrus, Nicki Minaj, to Jay-Z. These people are very affluent and very much exuberate success and put in hard work in what that can look like and what the benefit of hard work looks like or grants to you in this world. So I have so many people that are Sag that I know that they're extremely successful 
successful. I don't really know a Sag that is not really motivating at all. They're just really go-getters. Even though sometimes we can be a procrastinator, you know, because sometimes we just like to do things in our own time. We don't like to be tied down, but I feel like if we really put our minds to anything, we will achieve. We don't let any people's perception of us get to us. If we know that that's something that we want, we're going to get it. And given that sometimes because we are so dedicated and we have experienced a lot, we tend to give advice. And sometimes our advice might come off as if we are know-it-alls. And sometimes it may come off as if we are, especially if we're giving advice that we are sanctimonious, which we're not. But what I can say is that I have dealt with a lot of Sag in my life. I have tons of friends that are Sag. And the ones that are born in the early part of December to me are a bit of a know-it-all. Let me know what you think about this because I don't really have a problem with people that are born in November or the later part of December. But in that middle right there is like not really the best of people. Just my opinion. Just my opinion. Sometimes they can be a bit of a know-it-all. Like they would come to you just to unreal things on you. Not really for advice. Just to hear themselves talk. And if you talk to them, it's like it's a constant debate to get your point across that you have to bring out your encyclopedia to prove that my theory that I'm saying is somewhat legit and I have a point here. And they will only admit to being wrong if it's caught dead in the face. That's when they will be like, okay, you were right. But it's hard for them to admit that they are wrong. It's hard for them to admit that they don't know much of anything in my experience and that they know everything, which as I said, they sometimes don't because none of us don't and that's the thing that I like about myself I feel like I can give advice but I can most definitely take advice and I I love people around me that I can learn from and that I can walk away from a conversation feeling that it's valuable like okay even though sometimes you know things are for giggles I feel like if I'm having a conversation with you it should be worthy I should leave the conversation learning something new whether it's even a new word or just value or morals like something i would say maybe like first to fifth mm -mm. not my mm -mm. no if you are one of those people that is a know-it-all maybe you should work on that because you really don't know it all and we're all here to learn and to develop and you learn things every single day and having a conversation with a know-it-all is very frustrating very irritated and you come off as very ignorant and also arrogant in my opinion Another weakness I feel that we have is that I know sometimes I do. That was, that's something that I've worked on and it's helped me to become a better person. But I feel like we overpromise all the time. And that's something that we can't live up to. And I feel like because we want to be a nice person, you know, girl, can you come out with me next week? I know damn well you're not going to go out next week, but okay, girl, we're going to go out next week. The day before you're like, girl, I can't go. No, nope, no. Nope. I feel like we should set that expectation to say that I might not show up and don't feel anyway. It's not intentional. Um, I'll think about it. I'll let you know. But don't go ahead and commit immediately when you know that you probably will cap out. You probably won't show up and then you're gonna look unreliable. So please set expectations to let people know before you hurt people because it's sometimes very hard for us to commit. And just as relationships too, I feel like we are one of the signs that commitment is a big thing for us because we are very adventurous, very adventurous. So that's something that I knew from a younger age, especially while in high school, like my friends will be dating and I did not have a boyfriend because until later on in high school, because I was way too picky and I was like, ah, 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 ah. I may have 12 boyfriends by the end of the semester if I allow myself to go down that road route. So no, commitment is something that is huge for us. I feel like if we set the expectations, we will hurt less people so it's good to be transparent always be transparent and set the expectations from early and also why do we always offer things to people and later on don't fulfill them that's something that i had to work on too but i'm just telling you some of my weaknesses i mean none of us are perfect in this life none of us are perfect true growth is realizing what your weaknesses are and seeing how you can mitigate that i mean the only person that is perfect is god and we're not god so i don't know why we always try to offer i don't know if it's a sense of trying to seek love or validation that's something that 
that I had to work on because even though we are so blunt, we are so kind and people take so advantage of us. And I don't know it's because we are blunt and we feel like people don't really understand us, they're gonna run away. So we try to be overly nice by giving in hopes that people would stay. And I feel like if people really genuinely love us, love should be unconditional and not conditional. You should not love me based on what I can give to you, but love me for the person that I am. And I will say, being a Sag, it does have its perks because even though we're so blunt and people might think that we're so cruel with our words and stuff, deep down we're such a softie and people don't really know. You may be in an argument with me, but I'm laughing in my head and I might sound blunt and very brutal with my response, but in my mind it's all a joke. But it might not even be a joke to you. That's something too that I feel like we have to work on that if we ever try to engage in an argument, walk away because we will take that crap as a joke when somebody else is dead serious and that might can help us how you know that you have heard us when we start crying or we get extremely quiet like we don't want to talk we don't want to say anything the emotion starts to come out that's something that definitely you will know that i'm hurt because even with my mom too like growing up as a teenager like if i'm hurt like child i don't want to see you i don't even want the food you cook so petty that's just that was just me as a teenager like no and if you think we're gonna make up by saying sam come for your dinner it ain't gonna work nope I'll pass on the meal. I'm fasting, okay? I am fasting. So <laughs> that's just something with us, but we just have to walk away because we will take that thing as a joke. And because we look so serious, people think that we are actually in a combative argument. But no, we're just quick with her comeback. And I think it's because we're so witty is that we just like this. If you hit me, I hit you back real fast, real fast. And I have people like Leos and stuff. They get our sense of humor. I like you Leos because you can hit me, I can hit you back. And it's all fun and games. Leo gets us. My dad is a Leo and trust me, when we, may his soul rest in peace, when we, used to banter it was just so much fun like we used to have some of the best conversation and so much laugh so much gossip because we get each other to me we have similar traits so i really like leos leos are the best to me they have the same drive as us i just feel that like they're less adventurous in certain aspects or risky risk taking but they're really determined and they're highly successful leos love them this is the end of the video. Let me know your thoughts. I've been babbling all throughout this video, but let me know your thoughts down below what you think about some of the weaknesses with us, Sag, and what we can do to be better. I mean, there's always room for improvement. None of us are perfect. So I will catch you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.